to make this video. I, I haven't donated platelets in a good chunk of time. And I received a, um, you know, kind of like a health uh, warning shot, let's call it, where um, I had to get a bunch of uh, lab work done and all this stuff. I guess it's the process of uh, being in one's late 40s, I guess. But um, it came out as a very low iron and uh, low platelets. You know, I've never been a... Uh, it's rare for me to be able to do double platelets, but it was the low iron that's below even the the, the baseline low. I think the baseline low they said is 59. I'm, I'm at 49. And, uh, well, you know, so they, they uh, I'm deferred, you know, from the doctor. You know, I'm, I'm sure I can go donate at UCLA, uh, but I just want to see about getting those numbers back up. Excuse me, but uh, low iron, man. So that's why I haven't donated in a long time. But that's more the reason why everybody else should. I can't do it alone. I guess 25 years of uh, pretty much uh, donating regularly has uh, taken its toll. So I have low iron. I'm, uh, I'm not taking full iron supplements yet, but um, I want to see how the, the regular vitamins work and just a, a better balanced diet. But it's just, uh, I'm looking forward to getting my levels up. And it, you know, breaks my heart to uh, not be able to donate. But I know I kind of need to uh, take a break because uh, I've just, um, I got cleared to go back to uh, the gym, but not to uh, donate. Um, and you know, how strict are these clearing? It's not like, uh, I don't think, uh, well, I get, you know what, I guess, uh, you know, if I filled out the uh, questionnaire, it says, have you been under a doctor's care over the last X amount of time? And, uh, I still think it's underneath that X amount of time, but yeah, man, um, low iron, fuck. So, I think it's, what is that, spinach? And what do I got here? Yeah, vitamin A, iron, there's iron. Um, probably shouldn't be reading something when I'm rounding a curve, but I'm wondering if it's an absorbency thing, maybe, I'm not sure, I'm going to get blood work done early 2023 to see if it's any different than the results that came in a few weeks ago, and uh, yeah, it's almost like, I guess, uh, donating that many platelets that often, it's like, I guess it's like self-imposed hemophilia, right? So, anyway, but, you know, the message is still there. Go out and donate. Donate blood, donate platelets, donate plasma. Maybe it's a good time for me to be a, uh, to get a, um, what's it called? A uh, bone marrow donor. See if I'm eligible for that. Probably not with, with low iron, right? But, oh, let's find out. I don't know if the low iron is what makes me tired, too. Anyway, but yeah, it's like, I think the doctor thought I was like, you know, it's like, oh, man, you got low iron. Are you anemic or anything? Like, I don't know. No, I donate platelets a lot. Don't just look at the numbers. You know, there's con numbers require context, right? That's why sort of BMI doesn't really work, right? Bodybuilders are technically obese, right? But anyway, but uh, yeah, go out, donate. It's the weekend. There's no excuse. Go sit in the chair. 20 minutes for blood. About anywhere between an hour to two hours for platelets or plasma. If you uh, have a high platelet count, please go donate. Especially over the holidays that's coming. You know, we, we, the supplies are always running out. And uh, I don't think any of us want to be 
in an emergency situation where we need blood matter and we cannot get it because the supply is that dwindling. So go out, donate, send hard, and have an amazing weekend.